Hi everyone, uh, my name is Isaac and I'm working with Gavi's media team. I'm here at the midterm review of Gavi in Abu Dhabi. I'm here with Mike Froman, the vice, uh, vice chairman and president for strategic growth at Mastercard and Dr. Seth Berkeley, who's the CEO of Gavi the Vaccine Alliance. Thank you very much for taking time to speak with us today. We appreciate it. Pleasure. We have a few questions to ask you to our Facebook audience. First one is, Mike, can you please tell us more about the, the announcement, the new partnership with Gavi? Sure. Well, we're delighted to be here to announce that we're going to partner with Gavi to bring our technology to the table to help Gavi deliver life-saving vaccines to more children. Uh, we've, uh, it's a, uh, Gavi's achieved great success over the last 18 years, 700 million people who've been uh, vaccinated. Uh, a lot of countries, 80% of the children are covered, but the job's not done yet. And we want to bring what we can to the table to try and help them finish the job and create more life-saving uh, opportunities for, for Gavi and its partners. Thank you. Seth, over to you. Why is this new partnership in Moscow so important to, to Gavi? Well, first of all, we, we, we're excited about the partnership as well because um, the job isn't done, as you've just heard. So the easy part of the job has been done. So countries that have good performing systems, that have good information systems, those have already covered their children. The challenge now is how did we deal with the other country? And today, a third of children in the world don't have a birth certificate. We don't know how to follow those and find those children. People move with urbanization into urban slums. We don't know how to follow them. So these are the challenges we have. And what we need is a way to build a reliable way to track the, the children and the vaccines they receive. And of course, if we can, to send reminders if they miss them. And that's the promise of digital technology. And who could be better able to help us than a company that is working, I believe, in 220 different countries and has experience managing a trillion transactions a day or some incredible number like that. So they understand operating at scale, which of course is our principle as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Seth. I mean, you partly answered the question, Mike, but this, this partnership, why is it so important for, for, for Mastercard? Well, we're very much committed more broadly to digitizing the base of the pyramid mm -hmm. and giving people at the base of the pyramid, whether they're parents getting their children vaccinated or parents paying school fees for their children or farmers getting access to markets or micro merchants getting access to credit. If we can bring them into the financial system or bring them into the digital inclusion environment, then they are on that path towards greater health, education, and prosperity. And that's in all of our interests, our interests as a company, but very much in the interests of, of the countries involved as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Seth, you already spoke about digital ID and these type of innovations, but what do you really see, what, do you, what you know, tangible impact do you hope to see from a, an, an innovation like this? Well, first of all, just to add where Mike was, I mean, uh, the, one of the challenges is people said in the past, oh, you can't do banking for the poor, they don't have any money, it's too hard. And what we've seen now is with digital systems, you're able to include them, and that has effects, as he said, on the market and other issues. The challenge is vaccines don't have a commercial pull in the same way that, let's say, banking does. And that's why it's so important to include it and work with companies that are willing to see this as one of the many goals that they're going to be uh, moving for, uh, forward on. So. But, you know, for us, the real challenge is going to be today we give uh, a, a parent who brings their child in a child health card. They may or may not be able to keep that. They may or may not lose that. Um, we have no way to remind them. If they don't remember to come back, we have no way to remind them. With the digital system, you can have a real-time setup that has, if they have access to a cell phone or somebody in the family, you can collect a number. They can be texted or called. You have an opportunity, if that card gets destroyed, to recreate it from the digital record. And so what you do is you lift up dramatically the ability to provide these services. So Mike, I mean, clearly we're very excited about this announcement and this new partnership. And how do you see it evolve over time moving forward? Well, we're going to start by piloting in five countries mm -hmm. and really testing the proposition, making sure that we can do it successfully. But then we hope to expand it through the rest of the network, where whatever countries are interested in taking it up uh, from there. And then, again, as you put it in the, the context of the broader effort to digitalize the base of the pyramid, you can imagine people coming into the system through Gavi as a parent of a child being vaccinated, but then also 
paying their school fees or also uh, getting a loan or also uh, being a farmer who's getting to their product to market. If we can begin to create these different use cases for people and touch them at different points, it really creates a whole different relationship between them and the global economy mm -hmm. and making sure that they can benefit from the technology that's benefiting the rest of the world as well. Okay. Can I add to that? I mean, what, what's interesting is that people tend to think of you know birth certificates as kind of a major document, but you know the most common, as as I mentioned before, is not a birth certificate, is not a death certificate, is not a marriage certificate. The most common connection, vital registration for the population, is actually a child health card because we reach more than 90 percent of children with at least one dose of vaccine as part of routine. So they're in the system. The challenge is that contact is not connected into the system. So if you could connect it, then you have the ability to give them their basic identity papers. You have ability then later on if they want to own land or they want to have their rights, you're able to help them with that. But you know, we're not currently taking advantage of that and so the children get seen, they get enrolled in the health centers, but that information is not used for anything else. One, one last question. I mean, it's all about innovation and collaboration and working together. I mean, what in three words, what do you see for a social impact innovation to be successful? The three words we use are focus, scale, and collaboration. Oh. If we can bring focus, if we can really be, move beyond pilots to scale up those opportunities, and then we can only do it in collaboration with great partners like Gavi and governments and their uh, implementing partners on the ground. Yeah. So I agree, actually. The three words I would have used would be scale, collaboration, and, and focus on the bottom of the pyramid because we tend to start at the top and work down. We really need to turn that on its head and start at the bottom and work up. Well, thank you both very much for taking time. I really appreciate it. Nice. And thank you to everyone who tuned in for this Facebook Live. Please stay tuned on the page for more to come. Thank you. Thank you.